and with them is going to be a new kill team led by dude's character, which is his character's name again. I'm probably going to move your character to that kill team as well. So I don't get confused them. Do you see the kill team? <clears throat> by the way, Kiss here. Let me check. This guy, it's this guy. Oh, no, 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 it's on the characters, character sheets. Oh, character sheet, yeah, I do. No, your character's on on board the war barge, prepping his weapon. But I'm assuming training to meet this uh, legendary kill team that you guys heard so much about. Your character would be in awe of their renown. In fact, they're they're the things they've done has echoed through all your guys' training up to this point. So you you're like your character would be meaning like they're they're superhero in their eyes among uh Space Marine brethren. We're all ecstatic. Yeah, of course. Elated. And in your own way. So uh, I'm actually adding some backstories to your other ca your characters here. To Jericho, Craven, and Rorky. So Rorky is a Devastator Marine. Uh, Craven is your the sniper. Yeah, he's a sniper. And then you have a tactical, which is Jericho. So you're primarily a Devastator squad. With, obviously... Uh, you guys gotta have diversity a little bit here and there. You all play different roles within the, within the kill team, and then of course you have to build your relation, what your relationships are with these characters. And then Tesseract, your character, what have, what have he been doing in the transition? Because it's going to take you guys, it would have taken you guys about about a month or two to return back to the Watchtower. What what would your characters be doing in that time, that time frame? Um, I would assume just maintenance. Like weapon maintenance and whatnot. Are you all done with your character creation, by the way? More or less. I still have to upgrade a few skills here and there. Wow, toughness is expensive. Jeez. I'm going through my war, war signature war gear stuff. All right. Uh, let me show you can control them with these guys as well. Editing control by Q actually no I'll I'll c Yeah. 
Ah, so my token hasn't been updated. That's what this is. Is it an older token? Yeah. Okay. Well, then just delete that and then use your new token. Drag and drop them in. I mean, I don't have another token. I was just assuming that, uh, What's that there would be a different one for Dreadnought. Oh. Yeah, I'll give you one second. Let's see. I'm looking. Oh, geez, have I never leveled my intelligence? No wonder. <laughs> You're a big dummy. Hey, I'm sitting at 27 intelligence. Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. I want you to know right now, you're only three points higher in intelligence than my character is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so expensive to level it. It's 500 points for the simple. There you go. Oh man. I'm fucking ginormous. Yeah, our dreadnoughts are. Yeah, they're huge. I just realized I can mount one of my weapons on my shoulder. Oh. Using the arm arm weapon mounting, it says you can also mount it on the shoulder, so mm -hmm. forearm. Is it alright if I just use the last cannon for that? Sure, <laughs> Not the last cannon. Hmm? Where, where's Dan at? I have no idea. Oh, what's up, Dan? Yep. And then when you guys are ready, you guys just go to the drop pod. There. You guys go over here again when you guys are ready to do the mission. Hooray! My intelligence is now 47. I are smart. Oh? I have a lot of XP to spend that I didn't. I like... Yeah, and for Dark Heresy... 28,000 points? There's not a lot of stuff to buy with that extra speed. Yeah, it's it's mostly I'm now updating all the characteristics I don't use, like intelligence. <laughs> and that shit is seven hundred and fifty for the simple advancement. No sorry, five hundred, seven fifty, a thousand, two thousand five hundred, three thousand, three thousand five hundred. 
is I can go beyond the normal limit. Hooray for Ascendancy! God, I still got 3,000 XP. Urgh. Now, can I carry the heavy bolter and the last cannon together, or is that too heavy? Might be too heavy. So I can carry one of them? Yeah. But you can also give it to the other Devastator Marine. Yeah, well, I'm thinking of having the last cannon attached to my shoulder. <clears throat> you can also give it to uh, Neil Tyron, or Neil Tyson, and he can uh, hold on to it for you. Yeah, really. <laughs> the heavy bolter. So, yeah, yeah uh, you weren't here for the vote, so there's two ways to enter this mission. Dro either drop pod insertion or drop ship insertion. Each have pros and cons. The, the pros of the dropship insertion is you can bring additional vehicles and supplies. The, the negative drawback is you have a chance of getting shot down because this area, the entire planet is owned by the orcs now. So you have a chance of getting shot down. Whereas the drop pod, you can land anywhere you want, but you cannot bring additional tanks, supplies, oh. or anything else. Yeah. Sounded like you said that the other way around. Hmm? That's why we all went with drop pods, right? Oh, we can bring more stuff in drop pods? Easy. Uh, and no, we don't can, get shot down? You can bring, well, you can bring the, the dreadnought with you. you can, anything that you can fit into your launch tubes, you guys can, can deploy that. As, okay. far as, as far as you're concerned, you guys are dealing with a new dichotomy of people, so they they think you're long dead. Or they thought you long dead, so they're willing to give you guys missions, just not the full might of the Empire like you guys once wielded. I'm going to give you suicide missions. So this is like, to them, it's a suicide mission, but they're not able to allocate forces to that because they're dealing with other things at the moment currently. And to us, it's just a Tuesday. Exactly. It's another Tuesday. So, but it is, as far as you guys' intel is concerned, that planet you guys fought over before has gotten a thousand times worse. Uh, that black site you guys blew up with, uh, that got destroyed, if you recall that, Greca has made that a fortress now, where that once stood. Oh, good. Now we know where he is. Yeah, he's, he's not residing there, but he made it into a fortress. But yeah, you generally know where he's at per se. You don't have to hunt him down. So your best bet is he's at that fortress. He's made his throne room. And he has a... Uh, he's now established an orc fleet and is actually thre threatening the greater Imperium and uh, systems around that area. Let me get that interactive map too, so we can pick that plan out to finally. Uh... Map. <clears throat> you guys are in the segment. Obscuritus. That's where initially I had initially started that you're on the um, western edge. And let me pick the planet.
Gareth sector. Yeah, and then it's going to be uh, da, da, da. get one. All right. My mere pox is the planet. And if you need the coordinates, I can give you that as well. I don't think we need coordinates. Well, it's on the interactive map. There's an interactive map? Yeah. yeah which was kind of neat. We learned that last time. I'll put, I'll put it in a resource because it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, he brought it up so I could make rolls on directions of which way I was taking my black hole next. Yes. Uh, and I was like, oh, I wish I had knew about this from the get-go. I would have been using that. Uh, in fact, let me go six, and I'll add that. From now on, I'll just, why is it being weird? Just, boop. And there you go. So on the mission statement, I'll just start doing that from now on so we know where we're at in relation to the galaxy. I think it's going to add another layer of we know where we're going, where we're at, what's everything everything going on. <clears throat> but that's the mission target. The watchtower is in its own separate thing. Uh, if we want coordinates to that, I can do that where the actual watchtower would reside. It's up to y'all if you want to go that in depth. Oh, geez, we're on the other side of the galaxy now, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, you guys were brought to the other side of the galaxy to do that mission. That's why it was going to take you as long as it did. And then, but the 90 years, that was just like a huge time delay. You guys got, uh, yeah. But you guys were always on the western sector. For the longest time. All the missions were over there. The Tyranids, the Orcs, all of it. Oh, you know you know I'm talking about Western. Like in, in the relation to the map. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody had that confused. Some people get on my case about that. Look at you have wasted space. Oh Right. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I'm going to be using this from now on when we do missions. This is going to just add another layer of awesome. And then let's see. You guys still making your characters? You guys good to go? I'm good, I think. I'm good to go. I'm yeah, pretty much good. now on uh, looking yeah. at requisition stuff. Yeah, just put your character on the on the pad so I can see who's done. Are you guys still doing drop drop pods? Or are you guys gonna do? Uh... Fuck drop ships, drop pods. Okay, drop pods all the way. Every time we go into drop ship, it gets fucking shot down. I can't well, help. Yeah. Remember our stuff. first drop pod? I can't help that the roll sucked. Our first drop pod was supposed to be like that. Hey, and... maybe our luck will turn now. It's no, uh, that... gambler's no, fallacy. No, that, that, those are famous last words. Yeah. Tess. So I'm gambler's your... fallacy. <laughs> I'm going to do your rolls right now for your how your drop pod insertions are going to go. You had to mention the drop pod insertions have a chance to get shot down. Why no, would you just... say that? Why no, would you no, bring no, that no, into no. existence? He said <laughs> that wasn't a thing. No, they have a, no, we no, were no, just they... had a chance to go off course. No, that's no, 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 easy no, no, to no, no. fix. Well, off course or vaporize. But that's that, like... You didn't say vaporize. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's completely a... different. That <laughs> changes <laughs> everything. <laughs> but I would By the way, would... this one key piece of information you needed to know, I'm not going to tell you until you choose. The fuck? <laughs> you know, dude, you did mention that this was the last mission, but uh, I didn't think you were going to be accurate with that. 
That's not what I meant. Yeah. I'll be right back and he's go. Yeesh. All right. I'm spending a fade point. Reroll that so it's good. You guys gonna spend a fate point to re-roll the If it's bad, I'll re-roll it. I'll I'll re-roll the initial Alright, it's a little more fair. I mean, the bad thing is still going to to happen, but just the distance is not going to be as fast. He didn't instantly die. Instant death would have been 100, but I would have told you, like, hey, you want to spend a fate point to correct this? And then I just do the worst possible distance possible ever. Oof. And then, in fact, possibly randomly choosing which character is going to take fatal wounds. Are you saying that is in this is happening now or No no what? no no if it was a hundred. You didn't you guys you guys didn't roll that bad. But you rolled bad enough where you're gonna be going off course. So and I'll allow a fate point chains once. So you were gonna be <laughs> off by nearly fifty plus kilometers. Now you're not now you're not off as much. If that helps. Rigged. It's not rigged. I know. I'm just being a bastard. Right. And then, oh, uh, I gotta do your, because you're in a separate drop pod, aren't you? Yeah. Me? No, me, because I may... He's a, he's a, well, you guys are facing heavy forces. I would imagine this would be the time to do it. I'm a big okay, fucker. Then. By and the way, are you precisely trying to land on the installation itself, or were you guys landing precisely? Okay, so what exactly is the mission? So it is to kill Gurkha Gorfis, destroy his base, and the tertiary is to get any DNC for any fallen space marines that have fallen on the battlefield. Because you, your character wouldn't know, but Thunk and all them would know that they sent several other. Space Marine chapters to deal with the situation. They've all fallen to Grucker, the Grucker Gore Fist. Or have gone silent, radio silent. Hey, it's so just fucking there's... purple rocks, man. They should be aware of the purple rocks. Well, they didn't send in another kill team like you, like Death Watch. They actually had this a uh, couple Space Marine chapters sent in a legion or two to, to, to try to mop up the mess, and uh, they did not succeed. Oh, they clearly didn't try hard enough. They sent a legion. The emperor was not with them. Right, and yeah, so there he's just now threatening <coughs> the greater region uh, at large with his fleet and his his raids. So they need to take out his capital as quickly as possible. Capital, you say? <laughs> that makes it sound a bit more than a camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been 90 years plus, so... so it's, a, it's a city? It's an orc city? Yeah, it's an orc city fortress type, type of dealio. They don't have much intel on the interior, but they tell you they've tried several times to destroy the stupid thing. They just don't have the manpower to deal with it uh, mano y mano anymore. They have Tyranids to deal with now, so... Calling in you boys to do a insertion mission to deal with the problem. I mean, they could just let the Tyranids deal with themselves at the rate we've seen them fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> they, yeah, yeah, they blow up and kill themselves. Yeah, just put a bunch of dummies for them to shoot at, and yeah, that'll happen.
but the the enemies they have killer cans. They now have limb rust tanks. They oh have, boy! Yeah, they have the works. They've captured a lot of Imperium's weaponry and technology, and repurposed it. They yeah, have, say uh, fuck it. Let's drop in right on top of them. The worst they could do is blow up their own shit, right? So into the hive itself. I, cause I just need I'd to imagine it's a vote thing, not a I say what goes on kind of That's thing. That's correct. Let me see if I still have because I remember I had a map somewhere. I'm cool with that. S straight into the thick of it? Yep. Out of the frying pan into the fucking fire. Here we go. If we survive that weird alien trap room, we can survive work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Famous last words right there. Dude, that alien trap room was nuts. Yeah, that was pretty fun, wasn't it? Uh... I think we have different definitions of fun. Or, uh, test? Definitely. Yes. Well, I know for a fact that I can probably handle a kill a can, but I don't know about a Lehman Russ tank. Oh yeah, you haven't got to use your dreadnought yet. That's right, I'm using my this dreadnought is the on this mission. Okay, also, would I be would I be uh, also bringing Rookie in? You, you can if you want to. Yeah, I, I'd like to do that. I like to do both. <laughs> Attach an exterior turret and have Rookie just hide on top firing at things. Yeah, I could do that. I like the way you think, Moth. I think the way you like. What? Now you're talking my language. They did some of the draw feature, it's weird. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and that's what I want. Alright, ellipse. Okay, I want to bring you guys to this map so you guys can see what's going on. Here's the overview map. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Yeah. Red circle is your intended target. And the deep ocean is where we land. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm going to tell you how far you guys are going to land. So the first team. Well, at least our suits are hermetically sealed, so we won't uh, drown. I don't have a hermetically sealed suit. <laughs> oh yeah, you're no drink. I have a jetpack. I'm good. I can swim. I got a plus thirty in swimming. Oh really? Okay. No, oh, plus twenty in swimming, but still, that brings That's... me to I'll be fine. Yeah. Imagine you crit fail your swim when we land in the ocean, you just instantly drown. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure I, I might be tougher than anyone else on this team. Um, ahem. Ahem. Especially. What's your toughness? A... I'm sorry. My toughness is uh, 72. Do you have. My health is 31. Do you have 74 armor? Yes. No. You do? No. Oh. I add 7 to my toughness, and that's my armor. Ah. So the blue dot is where the first team, that's where your drop pods land. Oh boy. Yeah. Who's that's in that team? That is all the Space Marines. And then the one with the Dreadnought. You're going to be landing right there. Well, you guys are going to have to ford a river, and I don't, so... I guess here's the bigger question. 
Do I count as the team with the Space Marines or the team with the Dreadnought? Well, you'd be in a drop pod, I would imagine, because you're going with the team. Yeah. All right, so I'd be in the Space Marine drop pod. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so would Rookie. It and actually works nicely. That means that I can, uh, when we're swapping back and forth from team to team, I can control both characters. Mm -hmm. Um, do you guys want to get any more intel before you drop pod insert? Before I mean, the, you guys are going to land in those locations, but before we do all that, do you guys want to get any, any more intel about the lay of the land? Sure, <laughs> everything you can. Okay, go ahead, do <laughs> some. Do some rolls for me. Uh, Moth, are you going to be doing since you're in charge of your vessel? Sure. What am I rolling? Let's see what we got here. Anything to help with navigation, communications. You're trying to establish communications with any forces down down below. So whatever you think might help you in that, that regard. Fellowship? You can try or that. Or is this more a technological thing? Wherever you want to approach it. And by the way, the Inquisitor just basically brought you this mission briefing. That's all he wanted to talk to you about. So he brought you the mission briefing, introduced the squad, and then... Do you have any questions for him? Mm. Not that I know of. Okay. And Thunk, do you have any questions for Moth's character? Uh, probably not. Mm. <laughs> Thunk is simple. Thunk simple. Thunk, well, with... Thunk is what... Uh... Thunk told kill Big Green Man. So Thunk killed Big Green Man. Yeah, he tells <laughs> you, go with, go with those uh, other fellow Space Marines. Go fine, kill, fine. kill Big Green Man. Find biggest green man and kill him. Yes. That thunk mission. Yep. But thunk is the noise that the uh, drop pod makes when it hits he, the ground. And, and to make sure you kill the correct guy, he gives you a a paper, a printed out piece of paper with oh a boy. picture on it. Oh, even better. <laughs> and and he go and he writes in words you can understand. Kill. Hey, I know this I got guy. It. So K I L. Oh, you're literate. Okay, so he writes you kill this guy, and then uh, on the back of the note he says, "Let Space Marines uh, help other Space Marines." Basically. Okay. Space Marine friend. But Thunk is Space Marine, so <laughs> Thunk help Space Marines and kill Big Green Man. That Thunk mission. Yes. So Thunk not help Tiny Woman. That not mission. <laughs> and then, then the Inquisitor informs you, Tiny Woman uh, has higher rank than, than you, but you're in charge of the mission, so she's lower rank than you, so she listened to you. Oh, uh, that confused Thunk. Uh, thunk no help space, little woman. Got it. Yes, yes, don't help little woman. Thunk only help space marines and kill big man. Thunk not sure how Thunk in charge of mission, but here Thunk is. He put you in charge of the mission. He he <laughs> you trust this guy and he trusts you to do what is asked of you, which is to kill that target and make it gone. So dude, your guys' Marines are under his command per se, but he kinda alludes that do what you need to do. <laughs> Just let him work. Let him do his thing. Um, what was your character's name? Uh, Cassius? Iagar. Cassier. Yeah, the Inquisitor. Iagar uh, Cassier. Yeah, the Inquisitor approaches you. And he tells you there's a uh, throne agent of my former master uh, that will be with you on this mission. Uh, just go ahead and listen to her orders. But make think Sung's in charge. And that's the Inquisitor talking to you, by the way. 
Mm. Rhaegon the Abhorrent. And, it's, and he basically, in so many words, tells you, make sure that my Ogren comes back to me in one piece. So many unnecessary so, steps to make Thunk thinks he's in charge. Well, he he really <laughs> likes Thunk. He really likes Thunk, and he wants he he wants this. The only way he sees this working is that the Thunk feels empowered. That's not what he's thinking. So he's gonna help Thunk. He likes Quizzer that doesn't understand Thunk. <laughs> thunk <laughs> dies in the first headshot. Die, first dies in the drop. As I said, man, thirty-one wounds, and I get the same toughness. Nonsense perks that Space Marines have, so it'd be one hell of a headshot to kill Thunk. <laughs> well, I mean, it just takes one, and you've seen how Boko plays damage. Oh, yeah, I mean, he'll have like that damage 50 thing popping off with like 88, you know, armor penetration. Mm -hmm. Sure. Here and there. Um... It's just a cannon. Yeah. Anyways. Fired by every soldier. No, nah, every soldier. You guys are hilarious. Just I just of them. I just respond yeah. to the Inquisitor just by nodding and just yeah. continue just continue cleaning my weapon, getting ready. We zoom into his helmet and he's playing music. He's not even really <laughs> listening. <laughs> Thunk will occasionally pop out of the shadows and go boogadoo <laughs> as he's cleaning his weapon. Sometimes actually scaring the shit out of you, and other times you actually heard him approaching. <laughs> and Pesarak. De depending on what your perception is. Me? Uh, yes. So the Inquisitor uh, tech priests come to you, and uh, they have questions for your retinod. Yeah. Fire away. So Strong questions about technology. Uh, there are some things lost upon your departure they want to know more about. Specifically, that the virus weapon you guys created, or that poison tyranid weapon you guys created a while back with that biologist. Oh, geez, that one. Yeah. They're asking, well, specifically, long, they're asking a lot of questions about it. I actually don't remember that at all. Oh, I do. It was our first mission. We were supposed to be finding the uh, biologist, and he built a genetically tailored bioweapon to kill that specific Tyranid Hive. Oh, yeah. And you're among the last of surviving members of that squad. Yep, I wasn't even there. I just wasn't there yet. Or right. whatever her name is. So they're coming to your character, Tesseract, to ask him about it. What do you know about it? Uh, well, let's see. First of all, I, I think have... you designed the delivery system for it. <clears throat> I could be wrong, but I think that's you were helping doing that. So, I have weight of years, which means I'll need to do an intelligence check uh, to see if I even remember. <laughs> All right. And I it's mean, literal weight year. of years, because this happened in real life over a year ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, I recall it very, very, very fondly. So. Okay. Where the fuck is intelligent? Oh, yeah, it's one of the major skills. All right. So... I have to do an opposed... Let's see how this works. Gotta remember this shit. Roll opposed 1d10 to intelligence or fellowship bonus on relevant checks. So my intelligence bonus would be 5, meaning I have to roll... I'll first roll intelligence... <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, and then. I think it's 1d10 plus 5. Which is an auto fail. Can I give you a fate point if you want to re roll any of that? Um. Yeah, I mean, 
I can I can always use a fate point from rookie. Which is probably what I'll do. Yep. Down to one fate point on rookie. Because I permanently burned a fate point last session. Alright. This will be a plus recording? ten. Are you, are you recording as well, by the way? Yes. Okay. It's a much better roll. Roll the whole five. Roll 1d10 plus five. Yeah, so I think I... I, I suppose think that's I better. Passed. Yeah. Oh, wow, I did roll five. You're right. Um... We were sent to eliminate the Tyranids, and we came upon a, what was it, a space marine? No. No, it was a biologist. We were specifically sent to retrieve him. Ah, uh, yep. yeah. And he we developed the, yeah. We found a biologist, and he was constructing a biological weapon to destroy one particular brood of Tyranids. They listen intently. They ask, can you make that delivery system again that you once made before? Or give delivery us a Delivery system. What delivery system are you referring to specifically? And they show you, they basically hand you incomplete specs of your delivery system for that bioweapon you guys used to defeat the Terran to begin with. This is like a, a full blueprint? No, it's incomplete. Very uh, incomplete, actually. This appears to be incomplete. However, I may be able to figure out a way to complete it. Uh, I'd like to do a tech use roll on this. Yeah. I mean, your character... You designed the damn thing. Yeah, your character oh, designed it. So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you get... You... you gave it to, what was it, uh, his medic to, 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 to administer that stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, what was Moss Medic's character's name again? Sylvester Zeal. Yeah, that's right. Is she still alive? Yeah. She's been on the ship the whole time. Oh. <laughs> She's been on the ship. Hanging out with us. I thought she got assigned to a different kill team or something. No. I, yeah, I thought I left her on the, uh, the tower. In the tower. I'm there with you guys. You've been doing uh, medical administrative duties on board the vessel. Ah. In case you need a medic, I kept her on. I keep her with you guys. Fair enough. So, uh, now what? I just do a tech use roll? Or you can literally just, like, point them to Vesta Zeal to get that exact... Oh, yeah, right. You do that or do this and recreate a schematic or a new delivery system. They're essentially alluding to you they want a delivery system for ranged weaponry to administer that toxin. And if you, by chance, also happen to have the schematics for the toxin and what you guys specifically did they'd love that too yeah, Zeal probably has that well you see I gave the schematics the remainder of them to our field medic at the time Sylvester Zeal our apothecary you may talk to her if you have further questions now if I remember correctly that that entity warp entity destroyed a lot of your toxins on on board your war barge with the biologist. If yes, she correctly. would probably not be able to recreate it, but knows how to create something similar. Right. I'd imagine. So they thank you for their time and the two tech priests leave. By the way, they look exactly like the guy that. Uh, Yell Monk's character murdered in the other area. Exactly, exactly? Yeah, they look like 
clones, duplicates, like priests. Like, uh. Oh. The <laughs> Moss character would know that there's there are a particular sect of tech priests specifically for the Inquisition, and they're using technology they shouldn't be using, but since they're Inquisition, they're allowed to have some uh, leeway. Yeah, a little bit of leeway liberation to do certain things. So it's a look. They deserved it, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a sect, so. It's only grown. Wait, are you the same sect of Mechanicus that accidentally put me in a Contemptor instead of a Castroferum? No, that's a, that's a Watchtower. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a watchtower tech priest. These guys are in Inquisition tech priest. Your character would not recognize them as te tech priests, though. You, I mean, you know that they're of technology, but you don't recognize them. So as you're character. you're telling me that I would not recognize these guys as tech priests. That's correct. Despite being a tech marine who That's has correct. worked extensively with tech priests. They look vastly different. Okay. It's been a hundred years. Well, they, they're not, I mean, they're not a standard tech priest per se, but you definitely know that they are of the same cast. So if it's been a hundred years, how big has that space megalodon black hole been getting up until now? Uh, that happened like a week ago. Yeah, yeah it happened oh. a week ago in the same system. Anyways, um, no, it's been a hundred years since you well, like a month, because it took you a month to travel. Yeah, so. yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, about a, about a month to travel. But no, you guys have, remember you guys left about a hundred years ago and went through time and space to get to the other side of the galaxy. You guys got disrupted in the warp and came out 90 years in the future. But yeah, you're, you, your character would recognize that they are of the same cast as a tech priest but they don't look like your typical tech priests. Does that make sense? They look too too elegant, too clean. Too perfect. Too pointy-eared. Well, not really elves, but uh, smooth metallic uh, golden skin. Uh, oh. You can tell that they're mostly machine. Very near to iron, uh, men of iron, but there's, there's an organic brain inside that skull of theirs. Yeah. All right. Uh, you guys ready to rock and roll? Hell yeah. Yeah. Not literally, I hope. <laughs> well, our drop pod certainly rocked and rolled a bit because they're a bit further away from our target. Our intended target. Speaking of, what was the information I'm supposed to be getting? The bonus stuff? Or yeah, any but, but, stuff? Yeah, and for the info on the planet. I just want to give you guys a chance for into the mission. Yeah, I rolled a 1.7. Oh, okay, so you know generally where... Here, I'll mark it as, as green friendly. But there's an encampment. Friendly encampment. Somehow... Down there. Uh, you don't know the stats. God damn it, wrong target. They dropped us on the friendly encampment, not the orc hostile hive. Why? Um, let's see. Never trust the tech priest. There's a orc spaceport over in that peninsula there. And there is an orc fortress at the mouth of this river. A dam. Fortress, basically. So they're damming the river. And what was your roll again? A whole 1.7. Okay. So there's an orc encampment there. Orc encampment there. In fact, I'll probably start labeling this. Sorry, if you want the specific number of the roll, it was 55. Degree of success was 1.7. Okay. No, no, no. I just want to know, so I give you all the intel that your character would, would gather. Camp. And this is going to be... So 
this is orc base orc and then the da fp dress huh did it not type it right da fp dress well that's the orc dress that's what, that's what the orcs call it now the damn fortress <laughs> but they call it that fortress. <laughs> yeah, the Furptress. <laughs> I love it. Apparently one of the orcs is very bad at spelling. And they put him in charge of naming things. Right. Orc, Sounds pretty orc to do. Oof. Me. Hey. Okay. And... One second. Wait, you're not Dominego anymore? Yeah. What? Dominic was tired. And the weight of those years will really get to you, huh? He got called into somewhere else. Ah. So now he's a uh, metal of action somewhere else. I see. He'll be fine. Or, you know, not. Okay, and then I need Darkness. You guys only see darkness? Yep. Yep. Do you guys not have dynamic lighting? Oh, Don't dark. worry, it's an old friend. We'll be fine. Yeah, really. Safe settings. To <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Let's see, and then for Sora, and then they get sunk in here. And rookie. Why is he so tiny? Uh, I'm a chibi space marine. There we go. Uh, yeah. Is that Anseus? No. That looks like Anseus. No. Hover over it, it should tell you it's Craven. Nope, we can't see that. Only you can see that because you're the DM. That's so weird it does that. Yeah. See if I can... Yeah, let me put it under all your guys' control just so you guys can see it, I guess. That's so dumb. Yeah, unfortunately, on our end, the names are either fully visible all the time or never visible. Really? Yes. No, that sucks. We could just assign color tokens to everybody based on the color. Oh, well, there you go. Discord, or the... Uh, Old one in color. Okay. There you go. So you guys tumble through space as you guys are drop potted. As you guys impact the atmosphere, your engines or whatever is guiding you malfunctions and you guys veer off course and land in this field. And this is what you see. You see rather confused uh guardsmen rather super confused actually they're all aiming their guns at you guys this isn't an orc fortress excellent observation these no orcs 
never trust a tech priest to do their job. I swear, none of them do maintenance. Why? Why? It's your one job. And they kind of give the thunk a weird look as well. And like, and they ask, where did you fall from? Orbit. You stupid, we fall from sky. <laughs> now, where is we? <laughs> you there, God man, tell us. Uh, they basically. These guardsmen would, these guardsmen would probably actually have heard of me. Because I got that renowned uh, round warrior perk. So okay. the Imperial Guard, the PDF, and the Navy all would know of me. Or at least might have heard of me. And being an Ogren in Stormtrooper gear with a Hell Last Cannon, I'm, I'm pretty easily identifiable as one of the only ever Ogren Stormtroopers. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no, you're that other turn. stormtrooper guy. No, no, that's my sister. Skunk. She smelled bad often. <laughs> Sorry, was that directed at me? What? No. You said the other stormtrooper. Uh -huh. Ogren stormtrooper. I'm like, no, and no, that's skunk. And then uh, you see him kneel before you and he says, Sire, we're what remains of the planetary garrison. I look around. One, two. Is and, this all? And he says, Sire, there's, there's about a thousand of us. Is that all that remains? Yes, that's all that remains. He says a thousand. I look to just the guys around us and I do the one... Two again. <laughs> he says, Sire, no need to count. You must trust in the Emperor, and what I say is true. Very well. <laughs> trust in the Emperor. Agreed. Now, again, where where are we? Uh, and they look, he says, they kind of speak up like, uh, it's this fortress Demagon. I just look over to the other space marines and like, do do we have map? I point at one of the guardsmen. Go get a map. And then they yeah, show I... you on the on the map, and it's. And they point. Yeah. I was also carrying a map and was ready, getting ready to give it to. Dunk. They, yeah, they point. Boop. They point right there. Oh, we're that's not a little that off. Far off. It's not that bad. We could have landed in water. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. uh, they go, yeah, sire, the orcs dare not tread here. We've fortified all around here, laid traps, and they seem not interested in this location as it doesn't have loot in their eyes or whatever it seems that they're, they're desiring. No purple rocks, huh? Uh, he informs you that they've have they have a giant mound of purple rocks at the center of their city. Oh, okay, that's why they're not here then. Yeah, they you have all the purple, purple rocks, rocks, and that's why they can't find you. But that, that that's what they're <laughs> informing you. Like uh, they've they've done uh, observation of the orc city, uh, infiltrated it, bribed a couple of these guys. Cause they they tell you they've. Um, Interacted with at least the lower echelon of the orc society. To, they have, so they have some spies in there a little bit. Oh, thunk no like human interacting with Xenos. That heresy. How long have you been part of the Inquisition again? Very long time. All sure? 22 years of thunk's life. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> well, he he tells you so many words that the Xenos have turned from their Xenos ways. They're no longer Xenos. They're humans now. 
Uh-oh. Oh, I sensed a tongue. Can you can you confirm that biggest green man exists in Fortress City Capital? While this conversation is going on, I'm going to do a perception check to, to make sure the area is actually clear. Okay. You look around, you see some stern fortifications, uh, some hasty, some not. You see various gun installations around this particular area. Uh, you see a orbital, wherever there, an orbital <laughs> bunker that was once a space marine bunker is now placed there. So it seems that these people have established around Space Marine Tech. So then and in fact, as you're looking around, you do see three Space Marine corpses over there. Do we know how long they've been there? The corpses. Can we tell by looking at him? Uh, offhand, you're not just too certain. It could be days, weeks, you're not sure. But you do see the body there. Well, somebody might want to go collect their gene seed then. Assuming it's not rotten. Maybe we it can get be. Sylvestra to do that. You know, more the ship. She didn't come with. Oh. He's doing, he's doing laundry duties. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Ship laundry. I shudder to think uh, what Thunk would put in the laundry bin. <laughs> he wasn't on the ship yet. Oh. Uh, okay. And then uh, the guardsman asks you, Thunk, Sire, did you did you bring aid to, to relieve us of our post? We've been here for for years without supply. We are aid. We kill big green man. End of war. And end of orcs. Sire, what about your fellow brethren over there? And the thousands other before them. This is, is this all you bring? It's this all we all need. We need. Oh, little lady, smart one. What 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 did you say, Brasora? Right, this is all we need. Alike. I said the same thing he did. And then Bye. Virlo cuts in. Do you have any idea who we are? <laughs> oh, shut up, newbie. No, sire. The Emperor's Angels, I assume. No. Tong Space Marine. Yes, sire. Sire, we not angle. That weird. Yes, sire. We have we have prepped your your brother's bodies. They were the last. Of the, they they tell, they basically informed me they were the, they're the last of the space marines that they knew of on this planet. They perished in a fight defending this place. Ah, okay. So one of them doesn't have a suspicious missing head. <laughs> All right, <laughs> go ahead, roll. And a pistol still in his hand. <laughs> roll for it. <laughs> What am I rolling? Perception, trying to see what they are. You trying to see if it's that body? No, that's over a hundred years ago. That body's oh, long, long decayed. I actually see. Yeah, didn't we fight? Didn't we fight uh, Antius? That wasn't really him. Oh, okay. It's a it was... reincarnation del del delusion of him. Yeah. I assumed that. Uh... Chaos recovered his body and sent him against us. Doppelganger. Ah. 
you do see the bodies. You do see what they're talking about. And you do see that they basically made uh, uh, tributary to these fallen space marines. Like a tribute. Like a nice little ceremony. It looks like they'd set up along with uh, gifts, it seems, to the Emperor. Along with their, it seems appear to be headstones with their names. Oh, you see, Thunk waddles over. Does the sign do the Aquila a quick prayer? Cause Thunk zealous, man. Well, they dead now. Thunk can no help dead people. Yeah, your character would see that they're on like uh, metal slats that these guys put together like to be like a uh, altar basically for these guys mm -hmm. and you see various candles as well and a bunch of dog tags too so that's what you see they're not they're not heretical candles are they no okay like like okay. in Rever like in reverence to somebody. Thunk have idea. <laughs> I can't turn around to the drop pod and count. One. I look around. I point at the guardsman that's been talking to me. You see second drop pod? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's our, no, we, ha we haven't. We saw two flames come come forth from the heavens. One landed in our encampment, and the other seems to be off to the west. I can have some scouts go recover or see what's over there. We have some we have some speeder bikes, but we are too small to ride them. They're, How they're many bikes? Three. Three. I turn yeah. to look at our guys. One, two, three, four. Five, point at me. Five, five, six. Not enough bikes. You can probably double up on them. Sire, uh, yeah, it's a sire. They read, they read tandem. He says they ran double seat. These are double seated bikes, sire. Oh, double. That means I just. <laughs> that means two, two each. Two. <laughs> Yes, two two each on each bike, so That's they can We're have. Good. He'll eventually figure it out. <laughs> oh, that is enough bikes. We should reconvene with other drop pod. I look at the other space marines as if I've made a correct decision. That's a big word. I hope you know if you used it correctly or not. Reconvene. Which one? Convene a drop pod. <laughs> I, I'm trained in high gothic. And low gothic. And I can read. Thank you very much. <laughs> now it's the part I'll where... I'll challenge you if you have better skills in high gothic than I do. I have now... full language mastery. Now it's the part okay, where... Uh... I, I can curse normal... you out. Talk about Orkish. the normal space marines. Rookatiel's resisting the urge to gaslight Thunk <laughs> for fun. Way too big. That's... And unless you specifically took greater uh, training in Gothic, you will only be trained in it. That's, That's not, a, not speeder a speeder bike. bike. Don't have Thanks. icons for that. Do you I'll have an that. icon for a motorcycle? It's all profile stuff. Let's see. Motorcycle would work. Well, if it's a speeder bike, then I oh, believe that's go. the hovercraft version. Hell yeah. No, just, these are actually the, the two wheeler bikes. Just pretend okay. that the wheels are uh, well, hover. The non hovercraft version. That's correct. Oh, okay. But yeah, back they, they, the, the guards can take you to them. And says, "Sire, we do not know how they operate. The 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 angels of the emperor operate these these particular vehicles. 
They rode them with great honor and esteem. Slayed many of orcs. Right, I don't suppose any like of our space bikes. rangers... They just built for bigger people. I don't suppose any of our space <laughs> rangers are trying to tech use, are they? Uh, let's see, Brookie <laughs> might be. Yes. Well, they should all be trained in pilot ground vehicle. So they should all know how to drive these bikes. Yeah, we can drive ground vehicles. Yeah, not these girls. We need to make sure they still function first, right? Yeah. Okay, okay I'll do a tech that use. A tech. I'll do a tech Let's use to inspect tank. them. I believe they were. For all we know, rats got to them. Oh my god. I rolled a 90. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna fate point that. Alright, I'm now out of fate points for the session. Oh my god. So the first bike... Oh, wow, even with a plus 10, just barely made it. <laughs> yeah. The first bike, you know, is in near pristine condition. Whoever rode it took care of it. It's almost sanctified. The only amount of dirt you can see is where the, the rubber has met the road. That's about it. As it's been... It looks like it's been recently used. But it looks exceptionally exquisite. I relay that information to the team. And that's the first bike. And it starts up as you go to use it, operate it, starts right up. As it sounds as good as factory condition as it can be. Alright. And, and then go ahead and do the next bike. Tech use. There we go. The next bike looks as though a round has impacted it and killed the driver, but it looks still like it's usable. So there That's is. It. Has the round done any functional damage that no. we know? No, but you can you can see clearly where that round went through and possibly killed because there's blood all over this vehicle. Ah. In fact, did you look at the bodies by chance? Not very closely, no. No, Tesseract, did you look at the bodies? Your character? Yeah, sorry, I just got interrupted. Uh, did your character look at the bodies previously before licking the bikes, or no? I would assume so. Well, I need to know. Did, did you? Or did you no. I did not. Okay. I did not specifically look. I know Dude and Moth did, but I did not. Okay. So am I inspecting oh. the next bike? Yep. Okay. Ah, uh, anyone got a fate point? Yeah, I'll throw one to you. Alright. Hey, there we go. This last bike looks as though it was also as not quite as pristine as the first bike, but pretty pristine. Um, the tires are fairly dirty. You see that there is definitely bullet impacts here and there, little scuffs, but other than that, it seems to be in fine working order. You start the bike up, no problem. Alright. Brothers, it appears that all three of the bikes are in working order, although one of them has some concerning superficial damage. And I, I point to the uh, blood stains. Bloodstains aren't damage. No, 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 no. And the, the bullet the hole. Huge, the huge giant ah. impact. Looks like a cannon rifle impact of some sort. And whoever got hit, they are super dead. There's enough blood in there that no mere mortals could have survived. That's how bloody it is. I'm sure I mean, these are space awesome. marines, so he could have survived for a little while. Well, the guardsmen allude that those three bodies are those riders. I guess I'll look over the Space Marines then, who's got a lot of damage. Hmm? Oh, there was one that his helmet has a clear hole through the center of it. His helmet... Ah. Wouldn't his head be gone if it was that big? 
It is I'm more concerned as to how the rifle bolt, how the cannon shot hit the bike and his head. Glancing blow. It's like uh, JFK. It it bounced from the uh, vehicle into his head. Yeah. <laughs> so the hole's coming out the top of his helmet? No, center of his face. That doesn't make any sense. It's orc weaponry. It's not supposed to make sense. The bullets turn. They might. No, it's ricochet. Like uh, so, if you look at the bike, you see that it impacted the front of the vehicle. Aha! Uh -huh. That's the glance. That's a key piece of information. Then. Yeah, glances off. Right, and it broke a lot of the front end of the vehicle, and into the guy's face. In fact, if you're going to investigate the trajectory of it, you can. So if you look at a space marine bike. It has like sloped armor in the front. Armor in the front? They work. Yeah. They have yeah, they have twin bolters sometimes. Depends on what kind of bikes they are, what kind of assault bike they are. But there's a slope here. These ones have bolters? Rizora, do you think you could use holy fire to purify the, uh... Now does it make sense, Moth? Sure. Because they're sitting rather low in that bike. So a glancing blow through the center of that, where his hands would be, and into his face. And out the back gotcha. of his head. Super dead. Rizora, do you think you could use holy fire to purge the blood from this vehicle? It's just blood. It's not going to hurt you. So, yeah, as you inspect it's not the demonic. Vehicle, oh, there's no reason to use holy fire. Yeah. It does have a twin link bolter, but the one that took the impact, the weapon is clearly not there. So the other two have the twin bolters, and the center one does not. Gotcha. <clears throat> anyway... Excellent. They work. Let's get on them and go, Thunk Guess. You guardsmen, uh, continue not dying. <laughs> Emperor be with you. And they as say, I hop in one of the sidecars. And they say, Emperor be with you as well. Oh, it's a double it's double seater, not a side seater. So you jump in the back seat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look at the specs of that. I'm gonna have to practice this. Okay, so 110 10 kilometers per hour. So, getting from here to there should take you about 20 minutes. If you're to go past the river directly. Yeah, but what about <laughs> what about Deferpatris? <laughs> Are you going to get through that? Are you Deferpatris, I say we destroy the dam. Are you asking about oh, specifically the guardsmen? Are you asking specifically the guardsmen about the dam fortress? Sure, yeah. Uh, they tell you they dare not go there. They've, they've sent wave of space marine tank and materiel to take out that dam. They seem to be defending it with the ferocity that they do with the capital city. So it seems to be important to them, but they're not sure. They can't get anything on it. Can't get anywhere near it. As far as they know, it seems to be an electrical dam. They, they kind of give you kind of the schematics of what they've observed from a distance, safely, from a safe distance. It seems to be generating electricity or some other some other thing it's doing. They're not completely certain. And their spies can't even get near. It seems to be like black ops site for orcs. It's only the most elite go there from their understanding, so. So you'd be going in blind. 
but they knew there's killer cans on the perimeter. Uh, they know that there's the orc jungle fighters out there. So and there's a continuity of traps all around that area too. But they do say there is a road. Here, we'll kind of draw on the map too for you. All right, it's a dreadnought time. Yeah. Well, your dreadnought's already on the field. Yeah. And then, so let me get the color marker brown. And they kind of say there is a road that then it comes in there, and that's a road that goes. Whoa, it's a brown toward. skid mark. Well, I, I don't know what other color to use for road, so. Gray? Let's just keep the just keep the color. It's Brown's fine. Good enough. So they inform you that that road uh, seemingly goes to the spaceport, and then it goes somewhere else. So no intel on that. Because the orcs are constructing a road network. They said there's a road that leads this way somewhere that they're constructing towards the south and then they also inform you that there's an old hive city here and another military installation over here in the jungle humid but long since abandoned Yeah. Do you mean the Elsia? No. Goodbye. And <laughs> <laughs> we're off. Okay, uh, which direction? I just is? point in a direction and then hope uh, that the other space marines uh, actually can navigate better than I can. Yes. So we'll use. Use purple. Yeah. Don't... Yeah, yeah. So draw which way you guys are going to go. You guys can draw on the map. Well, there's really two paths I can see. Either. Attack the fortress, do a second <laughs> suicide mission, or go around it to find our. Uh... I say we go around. No reason to attack it directly. Yeah, right. Guards do, we... do come back with information. They generally know something fell uh, in this general area. So. Well, he knows what the mission is, so he'll be headed towards the city, more than likely. But he doesn't have the intel we have, so he doesn't know those camps are there, so he'll probably go straight through them. Didn't we gain this information before we dropped? Yeah. Hmm? No, but the drop pot where you guys landed? No, that's... you're getting Right, right, the... right. Where we landed, you wouldn't yeah. know. But the locations of the camps, I thought... You... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you gave know, that information before yeah, yeah. So, Tetrak, where would your guy go next? Because he's all by himself. He's obviously nowhere near target. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check my Vox comms to see if uh, anyone else is in range. Like, not You're not right anyone right. else is in the orcs, but as in the uh, rest of the kill team. Right. Well, I mean, Second. See, so here's static. As if they're, they're out of range. Damn. Oh, sorry. Thumb forgot to lift off thumb. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been holding down the radio the entire time. He's just been holding it down and just going. <laughs> the entire time you've been driving. <laughs> hmm. No communication. They must have landed some distance away. So, I'd like to try and get my bearings, see if I can 
like figure out where the heck I am, I would assume I might do a navigation check. Yep. All right, modifier. Minus fifty. Minus fifty. All right. Oh my god. So you know precisely where you're at on that on the map here. So checking some nearby landmarks, uh, I'm able to figure out where I am. And I know that there's a camp to the north of me and a camp to the east of me. But I don't know where the rest of the kill team has landed. So, with that in mind, I figure I'm not going to be wasting any time and I start heading for the north camp to fight directly. Hoping that the amount of ruckus and commotion I cause is going to get the attention of uh, the rest of the kill team. That's hilarious. Alright. <laughs> it's just like what we thought it would happen. <laughs> yeah. Actually, do I have... I have a smoke launcher, don't I? I can't send smoke signals with that, though, I don't think. Well, maybe I can. Can I, like... Can I create, like, a smoke that kind of goes high up into the air? You can try. Alright, I'm going to try doing that. I'll create a smoke signal. What relevant skill would that be? I guess tech use, right? Tech use? You'd be maybe, launching something. Maybe it would be survival? I don't know. No, it would be tech use. Alright. I attempt to create a smoke signal. Should we uh, run perception checks then? Yeah, can. Uh, minus 80. This would be a really far away. It would be hard to see it. Yep. Do it. I'm just running you with uh, all, uh, all of my team. Yeah. Damn. You guys don't see shit. We're just focusing on driving. There's your guy. You're just south of the... It's dark. Oh, it's dark to you. Yeah, it's like fog of war, dark, like everything is grayed out and I don't see any tokens. Okay. Save your damn thing. Why there we go. God, I'm fucking humongous. Yep, you're a dreadnought, so. Alright. Alright, let me make these guys slightly bigger to match your size. I make my way towards the camp. You're, the, you're just south of the camp? Uh, so you're coming into it, so you see obviously the rocks, the grass, as you're marching your way up. So, what? Do I do a perception check or anything? Yeah, you can. All right. Be awareness. Yeah, no modifier by the way, as you're look as you're just looking. Yep. And what's your sensor range? Can you detect things from long range? Do you have anything that detect things from long range? Big things, vehicles, etc.? Um, I mean, I have a searchlight, so that probably increases my distance a little bit. I'm trying to figure out what my view range is. I don't think it says what my view range is. It is night, though, by the way, guys. So you're aware what time it is. 
Yeah, I mean, my searchlight would help, but the, the other downside of that is it's going to light me up, too, so people are going to see me before I you see them. You can turn the searchlight on or no? Yes, it's on. You can turn the searchlight on? Yes. Oh, damn. All right. I can see everything. So, I'm guessing those orcs over there see me now. Oh. Now I can only see behind me. Oh, okay, it's hilarious. I was just seeing what that would do. Alright. Uh, yeah, you're lit up like a damn Christmas tree. And you see that they're staring right at you. They seem to be, like, blinded by your lights. And in the distance, you also see two killer cans. All right. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is shut my searchlight off. <laughs> now that I know where they are. And I'm going to launch smoke in between me and them. So this is going to be like a a smoked off area right here. Okay. What's and around then, that? and then I'm going to go around it, kind of up and up and to the left. Oh, I'm gonna add this to the turn counter. Hold up. There you go. Add him to the turn counter. I guess I should roll for that. initiative then. Yeah, you're going right to combat, so... Alright. That's your first action, so you smoked and moved up, so... Six for initiative. Alright. By the way, you can give uh, the other guys control of my uh, dreadnought so they can see the fight. They got 15. Oh yeah, they're gonna go first. Let me pop up other books. Pop that guy out. And you guys are just burning towards the the target place. What's the ETA, you guys? It's in 20 minutes. Yeah, so you guys should just now be rolling up. Uh, it's you to take it about 20, 30 minutes to get there. If you guys want to roll search, you guys can be included in this fight as well. Because you guys would be hot on this trail sure. as it's marching north. Bonus of anything? Uh, no, it's going to be a minus 50. You guys can probably see... Rolling. As you get closer, you probably see the wall of smoke that I created to block line of sight. Oof. You, Bersor, were you right you're you're not riding back, but you're pointing to like there's something over there. No, I'm gonna reroll that. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, that would have been fun. Losing is fun. Nah. Are you guys going to combat on the bikes? Or are you guys going to just If we can even find them? Is the thing. Punk, are you going to be looking too? What about you as well, no. dude? I have a perception of 19, so with my plus 20 bonus, I will not find anything. <laughs> <laughs> so sit on bike. Told where to go. Uh, who are you riding with? Who's your, who's your pilot? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Whoever got in the driver's seat. Tesseract character, I imagine? Yeah, probably. All right, go ahead and roll for his perception. All right. And Bersara, I'm assuming you're going to be going with dude then. I was on the middle bike, whoever decided to go for the middle bike. Well, you have also the other guards, the other space marines as well, so they would have gone. Yeah. Oh, that's a flat roll with no modifier. Mm -hmm. What was the modifier on that? Minus, minus 50. 50. Yeah, minus yeah, so 50. I failed then. That's a fail.
I'm back. So, so uh, dude, you guys are searching. Yeah, you're searching to see if you can discover where it hit. Because you guys, by the time he made his way to that camp, your bikes would have already got to that location where he would have been. And you're searching to see if you can follow his trail to where he's at. So you can be included in this combat. Else, you're going to be excluded for a couple rounds. Like 1d5 rounds. And then you get to be on the scene. Wanting to roll 1d5? No, 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 no. You're rolling perception or something like that to be on scene immediately to the fight. Else, it's a 1d5 wait for you to be in the combat. All right. Um, <clears throat> so what's the modifier then? Minus 50. Do you want your little men to roll too? Your brothers? Oh yeah, they're rolling. Oh, you rolled? Okay, you did it for him. Okay. Everyone failed? Got it. Remember, you get like a plus 10 for sight bonus. That was plus 20. Well, so, I don't think you can use hearing to track somebody. So in one round, you guys hmm. can be on scene. So I'll just set you guys up. So... Then he get thunk in there. And Brasor, right? Oh, and Rookie. Yep. He's going to be remaining on the bikes using the twin link gun bolters. <clears throat> They're just standard issue. Twin link heavy bolters. It's up to you guys, but you guys want to inter interject once you get on the scene. Well, I can definitely use my um, laser cannon that's mounted on my shoulder and aim on it while, while we're moving to scene. As soon as I. <clears throat> but I'm not sure if I'm going to see anything within like 200 meters. Like, would I be able to see the camp within 200 meters? No, this is south of the camp. You're just now rendezvousing. Gotcha. Then we're just going to run a view. And my team will dismount once we see the dreadnought. Alright. And Thunk, you're going to dismount with them, I imagine? Yeah. Right. If it is rocky terrain, it'd be somewhat difficult for your vehicles to navigate in combat where the enemies are at. Uh, go ahead, roll for your guys' initiative and add yourself to the counter. Oh, I have an initiative thing anymore. No? No, my macros are for Heraclides. Ooh, I, uh, it's, spent it's a fate point. I spent a fate point and I buff us all. We have uh, unnatural agility too. Wait. So that's but... double our agility bonus? Yep. Sweet. Yep. You'll have to wait this one round. As I battle off with Neil Tyson, and then you guys can just then we can roll. That. Yep. Then we can roll initiative. Okay. Yeah, I mean you can roll now, and then just you wait till the uh, bad guys and Neil Tyson go, and then you guys go. Oops. As the new round rolls in. There it is. Hey, I rolled the same thing twice. Fantastic. There you go. So they're going to move. And you said double our agility? Yes, double our agility bonus. Beautiful. Oops. That should be too less. So that should be a 19, not a 21. That, 
that guy. I need the yeah, jungle fighter. So he's gonna shoot at you. Let's see. Misses? Yeah, those guys are shooting at you, by the way. Damn. Neil Tyson. One hits, and then one more. With a minus 6.8, two of them weren't. Yeah. And there's the damage. Oh, shit, the gun backwards. Um, that does nothing. It just... <laughs> it ricochets off my armor harmlessly. I barely feel anything. In fact, I don't feel anything. It feels like a light breeze just hit my <laughs> my mech. Yep. Or my then, uh, dreadnought. Yep. Let's see. And then we can gremlin this guy. They can't even shoot you, so they're not even gonna attempt to. So but they're charging through the smoke. Is that the best you can do, pathetic orcs? Well, this is a combat patrol, so as far as you can tell. And then let's see, killer. Can. By the way, I would not see those orcs on the other side of the smoke. And I don't think they would see me either, unless my position's being called out. You lit up the thing like a Christmas tree, fired smoke, so they're going to be charging in your general direction. Right. So just FYI, what you did. Oh yeah, I know. I'm, I'm fully no aware clue. of what I did. They have, yeah, they, it's, it's nighttime. They have no clue that's there, other than uh, orcs can see in the dark, right? Yeah, they have night vision, natural night vision. Right, so those guys went. Now you're go. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, these orcs are about to get it. <laughs> That's all Probably. I have to say. Uh, okay. Let's see. Do, do, do. So this is what? It's a 30 meter. So I'm going to step closer. All right, so this area right here uh, is gonna get flamethrowered with my heavy flamer. Hit modifier? Huh? Uh, they're in the open. No modifier. All right. Oh, okay. And here's the Wait, damage. Wait, you're using a flamer? Yeah. Do you remember how those work? Yeah, it's a cone. If yeah, do, you don't they roll, they do. Oh, they rolled a dodge. Okay. Well, there's the damage. Okay. So two just get, what's that, 22 points of damage? Okay, that does hurt him. If they survive the hit, then they have to roll another dodge check or they're lit on fire. And they take the damage again next turn. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. yeah. They're getting... so... they're on fire. Okay, and that round's ended. Now, Brasora, go. Is this uh, where we uh, yep, roll our initiative now? You guys should have rolled initiative. Go ahead, roll initiative. And add yourself. You should have done it. I was going to say, as soon as the the bad guys went and Neil Tyson went, then you guys would be introduced in the new round because there's only one round. Wait. So you guys are just rolling on scene. You're getting off, you're dismounting on the bikes, you see 
the smoke and the flamer that just went off. And you generally Which are know... where? Hmm? Which are where? Where are the flamer and smoke? Gotcha. Yeah, you see it up north of your position. Do you guys want to push the camp, or do you guys want to call it after this engagement? What? I'm okay just, with either. I am just organizing my sheets. There's so many. <laughs> oh, I'm aware. <laughs> just trying to figure out the best way to organize all this, and I think I just figured it out. <sighs> I would, I would recommend doing pop-out windows, and then kind of putting them all up on a second monitor if you have that. Yeah. That's what I've been That's doing. That's what I'm doing. That's yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, my second monitor has got Discord, OBS, and then my character sheets. Okay. All right. So, Prasar, go. Oh, here he went. Well, I moved. I guess I'll uh, shoot the orcs. It's been a while since I used one of these. Almost. Except if you count those civilians I murdered. Is that that, that base? Yeah. Uh, you didn't murder any civilians. Heretics is what you murdered. Yeah. Yes. They're not civilians, they're future combatants. What is their armor value of the orcs? Uh, I think it's zero. Let me go check again. They don't have much armor. You see, uh, eight. There's just their toughness. Oh. Oh shit, sorry. I forgot that was damage, not hit roll. Ignore that. Okay. There we go. So your damage roll does apply. Yeah. Both. Well, uh, the first one applies. He's dead. The second one. How many is that? This is all ten. Uh, Holy god damn. He's super dead. You want any of that damage to bleed over to the two targets behind him? Uh, yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll. See if you hit those two behind you. And then we'll apply the remaining damage to those two. Uh, dead and super dead. Okay, um, that it? Yep. Okay, uh, dude, Roki, Rorokai, go. We're gonna sprint towards this cover right here. Oh, I don't see his vision, which is not fun. Looks like his visions aren't shared. How about now? 
No. I can see a vision with my original character, uh, with that character. There we go. <clears throat> so that's, and then that's all Roki's going to do. Next one is going to be Craven. Craven is going to take cover with the bike and aim ready to see uh, if he can, to see if Craven can see uh, anything downrange. This is as a sniper. <clears throat> and just aims ready. Uh, down range. Oh. And Jericho. Maybe I can see that one. And then Jericho. Will also spread north. His vision is 200, I think. There you go. That's his true vision. Okay, and then Thunk, you're up. Yeah. Thunk. All right, so I move to here, and then that's my turn. <laughs> your agility bonus increases your movement speed, by the way. Yeah, that's with my movement bonus. Dude, go. Oh, boy. Also, yeah, okay. still in my movement. That's 84 meters. Man, how are you slower than a regular human? He's fat and slow, and he waddles. I have an agility of 60, so I'm not slower than a regular human, but... I'm the regular human of the group, and you're slower than me. Yes, you also have the jetpack that quadruples your movement speed. I, it doubles my movement speed, so yeah. I can still go 90. So I'm going to use the talent trait to double my run. Sprint. So, so sprinting, it's no, or running, it's sprinting, so I'll double it. 72 meters. Or where am I? Okay. By the way, to get the uh, updated movement, you have to type into the miscellaneous your double agility bonus. Hmm? I can do basic math, so I'm good. What does miscellaneous do? Uh, you put your double agility bonus in there, and it'll modify your movement speeds based on that. Double the agility? Yeah, your your agility bonus, whatever that is. And just double that. Oh. Oh. That's your updated movement speed. That's the... Then what's the bonus agility? Is that the training thing? Sorry, what? What's the bonus agility? Is that the part of training, or...? No, that was my, um... Um... Emperor Faith bonus thing I buffed everybody with. Okay, I so put everybody's I'll... agility bonus to double. Okay. Well, then I'm not sure how that works. Alright, what's your agility? Uh, 57? So your agility bonus would be 10. Now. Ah, oh, and then that's where I put the miscellaneous. So put 10 into miscellaneous. Oh, gosh. Then that means I can spread 180. Jesus. I'm actually going to do it here. I found the orcs, guys. <clears throat> oh, that's full of smoke. All right. I am. That's it. That's it. 
I need to apply that miscellaneous then. Okay, it's their turn. Where'd my ruler go? Oh, there it is. So he's going to move slightly up this way. I see you. No, that smoke is still obscuring. So. Only just barely. So how many turns would it take that smoke to dissipate, do you think? Uh, 1d5 rounds. Alright, I'll roll for that. Whoa. So it takes three rounds to dissipate, it's been one round two. so far, two? Yeah. Two. So it'll go away next round. Yeah. Both cans went. Uh, oh, the soldier gotta go now. Pop out this way, and these ones. <sighs> They're going to start <clears throat> throwing their uh, their nets at you, Miss. You just see a wave of nets. Nope. Yep. All right. Wait, your claw. How big is your target? You're colossal, right? So they get. They get uh, no, no, no. I'm massive. A plus twenty. Probably. Okay. Well, the first one still would miss. And then the last one. They all hit, and this is that. Corrosive snares, so you're taking armor damage. Yeah, it's nasty stuff. Holy crap. Alright. And it's... The first one was to... what? Hit? 11. 11. And then... 92. 11's not the head, that's an arm. Ah. An arm, okay. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because I'm a vehicle... So, if they're attacking from the front, then it's always going to hit the front. If they're attacking from oh, the side, okay. it'll always hit the side. Got it. So, are they attacking from the front or the side? Be the front. Okay. So, take... that's going to reduce my armor. By... It's by the pen, not by the damage. So, the pen, four, four, four. Twelve. The twelve. You lose twelve. Okay, so I lose twelve armor. Not that big of a deal. That's how we always handled it. For you, right. that's half of my armor. Yeah, for me, that's like... One-fifth of my armor, if that. <laughs> but lucky for you, they can only do that once. Alright, let's see... Now, the, the, the snare, though, is stuck to you. It's going to do that every round. Yeah, I figured. Damage, just damage you. So. Alright. So my armor got reduced. My front armor. Now my front armor is comparable to the side armor as well. After that attack. And there's, uh, there's a lot more of those guys behind them. Yep. Here you go. All right. Well, I'm none too pleased. As I see uh, my armor starting to smolder off. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit these guys with the flamer. Great. Okay. So I know it's... I know you don't do a two-hit roll, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, my God. That's a min roll. It's 
about to not matter because they're going to dodge out of the way. Uh, except one of them. One, and then he's got to dodge TV. Takes fire damage. Nope. He's like it's on fire. Takes 10 points of damage. Minus 10. Okay. But, lucky for you, they can't throw more snares at you. This is we're one and done. In fact, I'll make sure I'll mark them green that they spent their snares. Yeah, the again. snare will keep damaging my armor every turn, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, the ones that, that connected to you. Yeah. You're going to have to pull it off, or you can take an action to pull it off, or something. Whatever right. you want to do. Because it's not big enough to uh, can, can find you like a, like a humanoid, but it's big enough that it'll stick to you because it's melting into you and it's constricting. Right. So you're going to have to like just like rip it off. Just spend your whole turn doing that. All right. Oops. You know that one. Carnos two guys he was training, did they get murdered on a mission? I can't remember. I think they did, right? Okay. So, let's see. 95, so the first one. Minus 35. He's dead, and then that gives us 60, so minus 45. He's dead. And then... Nice. There you go. Killed two, injured one. Oh wait, is that? Oh, okay, nope. They're all, they're just. I dead. have two guns. Yeah, they're dead. They're just dead. Okay. Uh, Rocky, go. Is this smoke right here? Yeah, it's gonna go away this turn. Actually, in fact, this would be the turn it goes away. Okay, so now we see them. Okay. Yep. Now so... you can do your thing. You see two killer cans, and you see a host of orcs. I only see orcs right here. Anything behind this rock, I can't see. Good. All right. I'm just going to sprint. Let's see here. Hmm. Just going to run to... Let's see. Gonna run to this rock, and that's it for that. And Craven. How far is that? Jeez. Where's Craven? How far are the orcs? Oh. Not far. So I'll shoot at one of the orcs from Graven's position to one of these guys <laughs> using the sniper rifle he has. Okay. It's a, it is within range too. Yep. Is it half range? It is. So that's what, plus 10? For what's half range bonus? Plus ten for half range. Yeah. Plus ten. Any other modifiers? I can't think. No, of? he's just, he's in the open, so you can just. That's about it. It's all mod all modifiers, all gravy. Do your damage. 
And it's going to take, if you look at the reload, it takes two turns to reload that thing. So, uh, yeah. he is not dead, but he is on the ground. In fact, you have, uh, what is that? What is that called? You can fire again. Right, you right, just right, your, right, your, your guy just was able to fucking just re check and reload that. So go ahead, fire again. Yeah, he's dead. First guy's dead. Boop. Because your guy's like, hey, I never miss a mark. Pam. <laughs> <laughs> Between the eyes. Twice. Toe -toe. And next one is going to be Jericho. Since I update that, he's going to run. Ooh, that's not what I want. Where the hell do these sniper rifles come from? The book. Right? <laughs> Which book? Writes a battle. Right over here, so. Let me get the there we go. page two. It is page. Obviously, it's modified. I modified everything. Page 138. Okay. And then, Thunk, it's your go. All right, well, I'm going to use my sniper rifle and then shoot one of these guys with an aim action. Oh, you're liking his sniper rifle. You're wanting a, you're wanting one as well. Is what you're thinking? You no, it's just when I was when I had my librarian, I wanted a sniper rifle so I could have range, and not just you know have nothing to do at anything further away than ten meters from me. Interesting. All right, I hit. Uh, there you go. One of the one of the guys. Okay, minus forty. Oh, hold on. I got to roll an extra d10 because it's uh, technically a hell gun. I got tearing, so minus one more point of damage. Minus one. So yeah, that orc's hurting pretty bad. Fifteen pin and forty-one damage, and he's still not dead. Nope. He has like he has a sliver of health. You are off by four points of killing this guy. Ugh. Well, I didn't roll badly. All right, that was my turn. Hey, uh, Virlo, go. All right. Uh, let's see here. Check the distance. Now that the smoke's gone, are you prepared to be sprayed, by the way, by these cans? Probably. Oh, so these are some heavily modified sniper rifles. There we go. I moved. Oh, yeah. It's my turn. Heavily modified. To be fair, the sniper rifles in this system suck. They've always sucked. Yeah. I have this big, huge, fuck-off sniper rifle. It does less damage than a pistol. <laughs> well, the Fucking accurate sight right? is supposed to give you uh, extra damage equal to your agility modifier. So that's where the damage is supposed to come What, a whole from. plus five? I There's pistols that do 3d10 damage, my guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I agree. This, the, the, every sniper rifle does 1d10 damage. It's so stupid. That's why I, I, I rebalance this for where you guys are at. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I like how you rebalanced it for them, but not for my character. I did. You can rebalance it anyway. You didn't do shit. I didn't know what Oof. your weapons are. I you trust forced you. me to have to get a special ammo type to up the damage die by one. You, you asked. I did. Hey, I'd, I'd be uncomfortable with that one. That sounds fun. This is an NPC. This ain't a player. He can go away. It's all good. I made up for it eventually with outrageous psychic powers. Right. But if you want that sniper rifle, that, that space marine would be happy to show you where to... No, you I got my laser cannon. Oh, okay. In fact, you guys are like, you guys are kind of buddies. You guys go back and forth talking about sniper rifles all the time. Uh, 
Cassier, dude, go. In fact, if I had rolled well, I would have done more damage than them. All right. Correct. Less penetration, though. But that particular yeah. rifle of his, he, he has one shot, then he has oh. to take two turns to reload. Although, not yeah, compared to the standard sniper rifle, <laughs> it isn't. Oh, that's right. Uh... Still does more damage than regular sniper rifle, though. Well, yeah, by four extra D10s. And an extra this... 25 pin. No, I mean... With the sniper rifle firing every turn, with a two-turn reload on that thing, it still does more damage than a regular sniper rifle. Interesting. Funny. Is hun Hunter... I have the Hunter of Aliens. Orcs counts as Xenos, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Anything that's not human is Xenos. Anything not human. Beautiful, so... Then a reload. Plus, I'm sharing my hatred with you guys, which is every species ever, and heretics. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had hatred on everything. Oh, yes. I'll aim at the the big work over here. That's the, uh, what you call it? Killer can. Killer can. I'm firing yeah. it with my laser. Okay, pen of 10. It does not penetrate. The pen doesn't get through, but it drops its pen. Where, where are you hitting exactly? Towards the uh, middle center piece. Okay, so it's 30. Drop 10, 20. So it takes 17 points. Okay. Okay, you hit it. Bam. It's. You see it kind of just aim its canisters in your general direction. Beautiful. Yes. Are you going to dodge this? I can try. Knee modifiers. Lo oh, load crap. Roll. It load really low, too. But all that, by the way, it it's just like their snares. The Corrosive. Will destroy your armor if it hits you. You've dodged out of the way. So the other killer can is firing at. I'm gonna roll one d4. Evens. It's gonna hit. It's gonna attack. Um, big f, f off mech in the way. Odds. It's gonna attack the poor guy to your right there, Dominigos. Guy to the right. That would be Jericho. Yeah. So, big robot. Jericho, Jericho. And then I have to dodge that as well? No, no, no. The, no, he's not He's not doing Jericho. He's, he's hitting Copler. Hitting Coplers. Oh, over here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kobler. can I... How does this work? Can I dodge? Or do I just have to take it? I don't know if a mech can dodge. Yeah, it's a good question. Do the splits. I think you're just gonna eat it. Probably. Twenty pen, holy shit. That's and that's corrosive. So that's it blasts you, twenty armor stripped off you. Oh boy. And then all that damage that goes through. So. Alright. Guessing that does that hit my front or side? Still technically looking at that would be your front. Okay. I'm assuming you're going to take those nets off you because they're still just yes. dig digging in you. Okay. So you're going to spend an action to take that off. Yep. All right. Do I have to do a check for that? You just take them off. But okay. you spend you spend a full action to take them off. All right. Oh, uh the I forgot. Man, I forgot the, the Orcs weren't on the damn counter. Let me go do them as well. Or else they won't move. So I'm assuming that's the entire thing you're going to do is you're going to take those nets off you. Yep. Your action. So, I'm going to move up. Isn't that really going to stop a dreadnought? What, a bunch of nets? Would they really stop a dreadnought? They're not stopping a dreadnought. It's just... It's 
disintegrating his armor and he wants it off of him. Oh, okay. It's not stopping him. He uh, he can spend it. He can literally let it eat his armor away all he wants. He's yeah, just, but I didn't want to do that. Right, so he's now spending the time to take his free hand, or whatever his hand is, to rip <laughs> that stuff off. And that takes a little bit of time. So he's doing that, ripping it off, and throwing it on the ground. By the way, my front armor is weaker than my rear armor right now because of the oh. gutter sprayer. It's still pretty resilient, but... Uh, gutter sprayer, by the way. Yeah. Uh, these guys look like they have, they have giant vats on the back of back of their killer cans. They look like giant soda cans, almost, with tubes going into their arms. So you just see them... And they're just oh, like... Oh, good to know. Yeah, they're just kind of like... You see them like... Uh, they look a lot slower than the last version of Hero Messing. They're in the, a lot of smoke. They have smoke building out the tops of them. And they're just like... Puttering along. <laughs> hey, that's sneaky. Hey, are you ready, Dominicus? Can you? You can't. You can't do anything else, can you? So I have right now. Okay, so they're throwing their nets at you. So there's, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's... Well, they're gonna try. They, the Cassier dude has already dodged one, so you could probably parry somehow. Ugh, a net. You're gonna parry a net? I don't think that's how that works. I'm just thinking out loud. I mean, you can. Yeah, you're still gonna be engulfed by the net. What about Jericho, dude? Hmm? Is he affected, Jericho? No, they just. They specifically targeted you because they saw you kill one of their guys. So they're specifically targeting you. Oh, the, the, the one that killed was Craven. Or. That killed, um. <laughs> the one they that saw the sprayer and fire. They saw the sprayer and fire in your own direction, so they're just they're just ganging up on that target. Gotcha. And you lose poor armor. But they all spent their net. They can't do that again. So. Poor armor on where? Huh? Poor armor on where? Yeah, and you have to do an agility check to get that off you. Okay. So you're telling me a giant cumbersome mech can just get it off while a space marine it's has a to tiny do an net agility to trap a person. Yeah, uh, I think your servos okay. can just rip the net to pieces. Got yeah, it. you're just you're just essentially just ripping it off your face. Whereas a space marine, he's engulfed in the net, so he has to do an agility check to get that off of him. Alice is gonna take that damage again, with the with the penetration. Do I lose four armor everywhere? No, just uh, where it hit, which is chest. Good. No arm, arm, right arm. <sighs> okay. Hey, Rosora, go. And your guys, uh, he'd be prone. Okay, so Bersora, go. You there? Okay. Yeah, I'm here. You're targeting the uh, killer cans? Uh-huh. Okay, stop right here. It was 100 meters, so I still got another 80. I'll shoot the killer can. And I'm in range of my Melta, finally. Are you going to be doing cold shot anywhere? Shoot him in the soda can in the back. Yeah, I was going to shoot him in the soda can in the back. Okay. Uh, cult shots minus to hit, though, right? Minus 10? Yes. But he's also massive, meaning he's easier to hit, right? Yeah, it, it, yeah it negates it, I believe, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Do your damage. And then roll 1d4, and then times that by that number. Holy all your, crap. All your, 
your total damage. I think it might be dead, honestly. I think you just popped it. Describe how you killed him. I shoot him in the tank, and the tank heats up and explodes. Melts him. Yeah, that's with four. Oh, uh, yeah, roll the 1d4. Let's see how much more damage you do. Uh, th that alone would, would, would kill him and go through his armor. Sorry, what am I rolling? A 1d4. Because you shot him in the tank, that's 1d4, and that times the damage that you uh, shot at Three. him. Oh, Three times holy shit. all the damage you did, he's dead. Nice. Annihilated. Yeah, you just see a giant green gooey blob where that thing once was. And that's my turn. You just see the acid eroding the ground all around it. I can finally do what I built this character to do, because we're not walking around in small corridors. Roki, yeah. go! Rokai, go. Yeah. Fire my, the heavy bolter. That's not configured. Great. <laughs> Against the orcs. Right. Not configure great. Did you uh, edit the config file? No, I just gave him standard damage. I didn't do anything else on it. Just standard whatever damage. I just don't know what. Uh, I just don't remember how many shots it fires. Oh, sorry, a heavy boulder. Yeah. It should be one and... plus one for every degree of success. So I think the max is like four. ten bullets. Yeah, that's the maximum I'm trying yeah. to find, trying to set things. Yeah, it's either 8 or 10. Yeah. I think you should have 4 shots there. Okay. Yeah. Do your damage. 4 hits there, I should say. 10. Heavy Bolter is 10. So let's see, there's one guy that was near dead. He's dead. First shot. Next dude would be dead and then guys take in minus 30. Okay. Two dead, one injured. Okay. Next up Craven. Craven will shoot at the kill can. Taking a cold shot anywhere? Since I think Brasora would tell you shoot the soda can. It would attempt to shoot the soda can. Well, he fired last round, didn't he? Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's yeah, empty. So he's still reloading. Yeah, yeah. He's going to need to reload. Yep. One more. Next turn, he can fire again. So he he's reloaded. Marker. Then next is Jericho. Yeah, so Jericho f fire his bolter. You hear the orc grumble. And you hear him yelp in pain and die with the next shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that it? That's it. Thunk, go. All right. I'm going to shoot this guy. I'm going to do a cold shot the head. Uh, and he's what? Big, so plus 20 to hit. Or are you going to shoot the, the soda can? Yeah, in the head. Yeah. So he's big for plus 20, right? Mm-hmm. All right, and then another plus 10 because I hate him. Yep, I super hit him in the face. OK. 
Okay. And then add seven to that. So that's uh, 48 damage with 14 pen to the face. I believe he explode. If you were targeting the face or the, the soda can, then he yeah. would explode. So. Nice. Ha. And then that was my turn. Okay, uh, Beerlo, go. All right, let's see here. Uh, I am out of range still, so I'm going to move up to this rock, and that's my turn. Dude, go. I'll take off the net. Agility check. Just the agility check, any modifiers? Minus 10. Oh, that's wrong person, but I'm going to fate point that. And then... It's currently 840 where I'm at, and the ice cream truck just went by my house. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to end it. <laughs> that's a little early. Early? It's brutal late. I oh, wish an ice cream truck, truck would He's come by my He's house. Stuck. Oh my god. Sorry, it's a lie. Yeah, I'm at. You're just going to take the... Yeah, yeah. Gonna... That's, why I said, that's why I said it's 840 where I'm at. Could have been Ahem. Are you just gonna eat this damage, bro? Please. Can't do anything. You're gonna eat this damage this round, aren't you? Oh my god. That's all my fate points. Take a fate point from me. Okay. Oh my god. What, what is going Take on? Are you adding plus 10? Point from me. Yeah, Are you adding you plus 10? Someone would have made it. Last well, roll made it. Last roll definitely. The first roll made it. The first roll. Yeah, I think his first, first roll, roll was I. Roll. No, his, yeah, his normal roll. In the roll second made. roll, I did plus zero, since yeah, that was that neutral. Made it. That one would have made it then, so you can. The second one? No, 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 it was this. minus ten. You only get plus ten, so it was minus minus. It was minus ten, so you get the plus ten and be zero. So yes, but uh -huh. he didn't put in. No, no, it, the roll is minus ten to his agility roll, so oh, he did get the plus ten to uh, it. Okay. It. Okay. So then you still failed. Yes, they all still failed. Uh, take another one for me. <laughs> there there you go. You struggle, you struggle, and you're just like, oh, God, get this off. Ah, ah. <laughs> Finally, you're able to take your knife and break free. And you, you're standing on your feet again. Standing on the feet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give you that since uh, you're super fast, super quick. Back in the fight. I do have the uh, what you call the leap up rapid reaction too. No. Yep. So that would make sense. Then I'll uh, next thing I'll fire at the uh, work guys nearby. He is super duper dead. Just melted his body. Yeah, describe how you killed that guy. By the time I got off the net, I used the rock nearby to stable my entire body, aim, and use my hand to aim at the last cannon towards his chest. Fired it, his chest has just vaporized, vaporized and all that remained was his limbs and his head. And they fall to a pile on the ground. <laughs> yeah. And Dreadnought, Tyson, go. Oh no, you didn't annihilate the orc's head? Does he still believe he's alive? Alright, let's see how far away this fucker it's is. Head rolling around going, ah! <laughs> and the orc is just still screaming. <laughs> so I'm going to move up and uh, we're going to take a pot shot at this guy with... Uh, my Culverin. <laughs> so 
touch overkill, don't you think? Nah. He's, like, he's a little annoyed right now because he lost a lot of armor. Like, a lot. <laughs> Fucking annihilated. So go ahead and describe how you kill that guy. Um. I, uh. Neil Tyson used hyper beam. It's super effective. Only a pair of smoking orc Enem feet remain. Yes, enemy org fainted. Right. <laughs> Cue Final Fantasy victory music. So that's good. one camp destroyed. It's a northern no, camp. No, you oh. were not the camp. You were at, you encountered a patrol south of the camp. You have not even entered the camp yet. Ah. Is that where we're gonna end it? We can. You guys want to end it here? I'm fine okay. with either. Give you about a thousand experience points for that. Good Ooh. combat. We killed encounter. two kilocans and we got a thousand XP from that. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Bitch, we got less for killing the freaking uh, warp entity. Oh yeah. <laughs> got two kilocans. Like how many orcs did we kill there? There's 12. At least 10. I, mean, I got 8 plus the kilocan. <laughs> so your intel tells you these camps are heavily guarded with those, that similar weaponry you guys just encountered, along with rockets, lemurus tanks, etc. So it's a hard, these are hardened camp targets. And that was just a patrol we just done. Yep. Yeah. One patrol. So what's your guys' plan to kill Grucka? Shoot him until he's dead. I like <laughs> this plan. Yeah. It's as good a plan as any. So I'm going to shoot Grucka in the face. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I've had bad... You. I've had very bad experiences with shooting orcs in the face. Can we shoot him in another body part instead? Don't <laughs> shoot Grucka in groin. Repeatedly. Shoot him in the dick. There we go. If that no work, Thunk have beat stick, and Thunk will beat Big Orc in the face, or groin with stick. <laughs> I wonder how you guys react to those Ogren you guys convinced in the first session to join you guys against that one guy. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 Maybe it's he was one of them. It's know. been a while. Huh? Maybe he was it's one of shame. them. It's been a while. That shit blew up. Yeah, they're all dead. Because they went, they went to the battle barge, and the battle barge immediately blew up in the next mission. Fair. However, it did. You did say it was still salvageable partially, and there was some yeah. life. Yeah. You and guys, it was in orbit of this planet. Still in orbit. You guys can investigate later. You guys want to, but still in orbit. How was that? Was that much better with the visual representation where you, where you guys are at and everything? Yeah, I really oh, yeah. liked the world map. It was very cool. Yeah. Maps are always good. Yep. Yeah. I was like, I was, I'll paint a map to make it a little, little bit easier of what you guys are doing. Since this is strict combat. The <laughs> Uh, it's too funny. <laughs> I think I think the key must have had a stroke. I was like, I'm not sure what happened there, but O and P are next to each other. I didn't... Yeah, but where did Doug come from? I think my keyboard lags sometimes. Doug, that... what do you mean? Where did Doug came from? You were typing an orc. Yeah, it's I... orcs. I was, well, sure. I was typing damn fortress to make it readable to human eyes, not orc eyes. But it works too. The the fortress, yes. Sounds orcish, right? 
Yeah, Deferptress. Deferptress, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. It's great. All right, well, I will see you all next week. Oh, yeah, it was fun. See you next week. See ya. See ya. See ya.